Hi guys, I'm here with a super quick video because I actually had a lot of questions uh, the other day after one of my other lives about how I clean my stamps. And it's so easy, seriously, seriously, there's two ways that I clean my stamps. One is I buy very inexpensive baby wipes like for sensitive skin because those sensitive skin baby wipes, they don't have the alcohol and stuff in them because obviously if they're going on a baby's butt, no alcohol, you don't want your baby's butt burn, to burn and scream and whatnot. So the sensitive, you could probably get like a, a knockoff sensitive brand from the dollar store or something. I think that's key uh, for baby wipes. But what I really, and that's like on the go. If th that's what I use, I keep a set in my car if I need to wipe down my seats because my kids get their dirty feet all over it. Um, I keep wipes all over the place. But here's what I use for cleaning my stamps. And I've tried everything. I did the chamois thing. I did all that stuff. I've tried all that stuff. And let me tell you, I use, and I think it comes in a totally different bottle now. I don't know, but I've had this forever and I bought all the refills, but this is the squeaky clean. First of all, the name squeaky clean <laughs> from Brutus Monroe. And I, it, I think it comes in a couple of different ways. I think you can get like a little scrubber pad. This is not, this is, I don't even know who this is. This is stamping up. Uh, but anyway, I think you can get like a spray and you can put it in your scrubber pad or all this stuff. But this bottle I like, and I sure hope he still makes this bottle, but um, this one you just push down. You know, if you go to the nail salon, they get their uh, nail polish and they just kind of push down. Uh, that's what this is. And it's filled with this glorious, like, whatever it is. I don't know, but it's got rose oil. I, I actually texted Chris and I'm like, what am I smelling? Oh my God, it smells so good. Um, but it's got rose oil in it. Um, so not only does this clean your stamp, it conditions your stamp as well. Um, oh, I'm so glad he still makes that bottle, Nancy. So glad. Um, so I love it. So this holds seven ounces of stamp cleaner and I pair it with a microfiber cloth. And I have microfiber cloths all over my craft room. You can buy a set, a huge inexpensive set off of Amazon. You can go to the dollar store. You apparently I'm a fan of the dollar. But I mean, look how dirty this one is. This one's sitting on my floor. It needs to go. It's got like embossing paste and inking. Look, there's some foam dimension tape on here. I mean, I love these things. And um, I just love them. So anyway, so all I do is I take my little rag and I just pop, pop and clean off my stamp and this also locks. So you, if you wanted to take it on the go or whatever, it locks in place. So there's no pouncing down. So anyway, and I just keep it on my desk along with the uh, cloth and that is it. Bada bang, but he has other features as well. And again, he sells the refills as well. So you really only need one dispenser and I know he has a spray and he's probably got some other things that I haven't even noticed because this I bought so many of these um, when I tried it out for the first time, I'm like, oh yeah. So I've got them sitting there looking right now over in my little cubby and there's three uh, full refill bottles. I also have a bottle down in my kitchen and I clean my countertops. It just smells good. I don't know. It's, just, it's, just, it's like an essential oil. You just like breathe it in and you feel relaxed. <laughs> so I like that it cleans your stamps, but it also conditions them at the same time. It doesn't leave any slimy residue or anything like that. I don't like using chamois and things of that nature because I'll just tell you why. Y'all know I'm pretty honest, right? Y'all don't want to look at my ceiling. Um, I do not want to, first of all, store that thing because you have to keep it, you know, damp or it gets all tough, which is fine. You go to the sink and you 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 wet it and it reactivates and it gets all nice and soft. But I don't want to do that. I don't have to go to the sink and wet my towel and <laughs> all that stuff. I also don't want to store it because it smells. And that's the truth. So there you have it. That is my secret weapon. The secret weapon of stamp cleaning. Squeaky clean. The, oh, the, um, oh, some get a slimy feeling. Yeah, those uh, chamois or I know a lot of different companies have a lot of different kind of thing um but i just they're not for me i'm way too lazy i don't want to have to get stored in a bag or stored in something and i don't have to remember to go wet it um uh, before my daughter's calling me <laughs> what
Okay, just a minute. Busy. Um, so anyway, his squeaky clean, even cleans stays on. That's good to know. Um, Belinda, I didn't know that. I don't use stays on because I am sensitive to smell. Seriously, I am prone to headaches like no one's business, and that stuff just stinks. So I don't use that. But I, I, I do know that it cleans like red ink off my stamp right away. Uh, but I don't mind stain stamps. Um, I can actually, when they're stained, I can see them better. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it's a great cleaner and you can use it not only with your stamps. Um, I clean off my glass mat with it. I clean, like I said, I have some in my kitchen countertop. So that's, that's what I use. And it just, you know, it's got a really nice smell. And I had a long time ago, a company made one that smelled like bubble gum. And I agree that it totally smelled like bubble gum, but it didn't really clean my stamps well. So this not only cleans your stamps and not only conditions your stamps, it not only comes in an awesome bottle that doesn't, you don't have to pick up and spray and it doesn't get all over the place. Uh, but, uh, it works and it smells yummy, but yeah, I mean, I think a lot of us probably gave the chamois a good old fashioned try and, uh, uh, Ooh, he's got a new formula, Belinda. I tell you, I'm out of touch. I have so much of that rose oil. I'm happy, but I love me some lavender too. So rest assured, this will be my go-to cleaning stamp cleaner until he stops making it, which better be never. Um, and then on the go, like I said, I have a, a pack of sensitive wipes and I use that on the go. So there you have it. That's my sneakity sneak. How's this for a quick live? It's quick because my daughter's calling me. <laughs> All right. So that's my sneakity sneak. If you want to know more about it, um, I will link it up below in the description. Give me a few minutes because I have to go look up the new scent because I didn't even know there was one. Thank you for telling me. I didn't know. So I'll link it up if it's something that you're interested in. Um, I know of like three or four stores that carry it. There's probably more out there. I don't know because I'm a person like when I find something, I like it. I stick to it. I had the same pottery barn, Daisy Comforter from the time I was 18 years old until I moved up here to Connecticut three years ago. I liked it. There was no reason to get rid of it. Eventually it started just falling apart. But I don't have to, I'm not one for like changing things up every, every, if I want to change thing in my house, I get a, a decorative slip and throw it on a pillow, a little throw pillow. I don't go out and buy all new stuff. And I'm like that with my crafting stuff. If I like what I have, I don't need to keep going out and looking for other things. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why, why do that to yourself? And plus that's a big no, no on the impulse buying on that video, right? No, say no to the impulse buying. It's been three years already, Heidi. I'm about to move again in a couple of months, actually. We've already bought a house up north, and this house that I'm in is currently on the market, and we have a contingent offer right now. So we'll know more on that in the next week or so. But anyway, thanks for watching. Got to go tend to the kiddos. And uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right, D. All right, I'll talk to you later. Give me a few minutes, and let me tend to her, and then I'll update the description and whatever. Bye. Bye, Shauna. Bye, Shauna. Mwah! Namaste.